The DM55 Mark III is designed to bulk unload into melters, direct feed to metering stations, applicators, and roll coders. It is also designed to be fully compatible with PUR adhesives. The performance capabilities of the DM55 Mark III are a 36,000 watt platen core. The platen core is configurable for 240 volt, 380 volt, as well as 480 volt configurations on the same machine. The pumping system is capable of running up to 50,000 centipoys, up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. The DM55 Mark III can achieve delivery rates of up to 600 pounds per hour at 1,000 centipoys and 1,000 psi. Some of the enhancements that we have implemented on the Mark III include, most obviously, the, the cylinders that you see. Previous designs had uh, integrated cylinders on the base plate. These are ISO compatible cylinders that are uh, hard mounted to the base plate and interchangeable. The next most recognizable change that you'll notice is the electrical cabinet. We have rotated the electrical cabinet in order to reduce the footprint, the overall width of the machine by approximately six inches. And um, by doing that, it also makes it much more ergonomic. The next enhancement is the seal design. You'll see that the new design incorporates a solid silicone PFA encapsulated O-ring on the bottom groove and a silicone T-wiper on the top groove. The construction of the O-ring is continuous. There are no uh, gaps in which uh, we have to join seals together. Uh, so therefore also no places for it to leak. Changing out of the seal, the bottom seal, is as simple as uh, dropping the bottom faceplate, changing the seal, and reinstalling the bottom plate. The Mark III also incorporates Allen Bradley Micrologics PLC control as standard, but also available are Siemens E200S and Mitsubishi PLC controls. The DM55 comes with two removable platens. The one on the machine that we see here is a what we call a smooth bottom platen. It's for PUR operation. And you can get somewhere in the neighborhood of approximately 120 pounds per hour on that platen. This is the PUR smooth bottom platen. It's not entirely smooth bottom, but it uh, does have a pie shape. The uh, design of this helps to facilitate flow into the pump, but also keeps everything open so that it's uh, much easier to clean than a platen such as this, which is our standard high flow fin platen. We have uh, over 3,000 square inches of surface contact on this platen and has this has been tested to uh, 600 pounds per hour. DM55 can be ordered with either gear pumps or piston pumps. As far as gear pumps are concerned, any of the single output gear pumps available in the ITW Dynatech product line can be adapted to the Mark III. Most popularly are the 20, 30, and 45 cc gear pumps that you see here. DM55 Mark III standard features include the encapsulated seals, remote actuated purge valve. As you'll see, the purge valve, which is located here, is connected by an actuation rod, which is attached to a pneumatic cylinder located on top of the motor bracket. When this is actuated, the purge valve can be opened or closed. The pneumatic cylinder is both air open and air closed along with a spring assisted closed. 
The purge valve then empties into a purge tray, which is included for the customer to be able to uh, dump their purge periodically. 36,000 watts of heat in the platen is controlled by an advanced temperature controller. That controller actually measures not only the core temperature of the platen itself, but it also measures the fin temperature of the platen face. All DM55s come with either a full clamshell, which you see here. This is recommended for all applications that would involve fiber drums. And also for applications with steel drums, we have a quarter clamshell um, option, which is exactly the same, except it includes two clamps uh, and is approximately one third the height of a full clamshell. Continuing with the DM55 standard features, the Mark III now includes a modular pneumatic valve assembly. This valve assembly is designed to be uh, much easier to troubleshoot as well as uh, maintain. Looking below the valve bank, this is the ram up regulator and it interlocks the ram up function along with the air inject to be able to limit the amount of pressure which is available for the ram up and thus making the uh, operation much safer. The DM55 Mark III options include a linear cable transducer. That transducer is located right here. The cable is attached to a section unit which is mounted behind the crossbar and is attached to the back of the right hand cylinder. This device measures the position of the platen from full up to full down and anywhere in between. The resolution of the transducer is uh, plus or minus a half a millimeter and it takes the place of the air inject sensor, the drum low sensor, and the drum empty sensor on the standard equipment package. A stainless steel vent hood. This vent hood is um, a requirement when running PUR materials in order to ev evacuate the volatile components. Digital pressure readout. We have a pressure transducer which is attached to one of the outlet ports on the outlet manifold and that value is then displayed on the HMI screen. Another option in lieu of digital pressure transducer readout is an analog gauge option and that would then come installed in the same location as the digital pressure transducer location you see here. Another option is the pallet spacer option. This option raises the drum and loader an additional five inches off of the ground for a total of six and one quarter inches to the bottom of the drum. This helps facilitate loading and unloading of drums from pallets. The DM55 Mark III also has a CE compliance option. That option includes as standard the two-hand controller but then also includes a safety relay controller, a drum present sensor, and also a platen position sensor, which tells the unit where the platen is, if the drum is in position, and that it is then ready for automatic mode so long as the operator depresses both buttons simultaneously, and that meets CE directives for Europe. Mark III also has a platen guarding operation. It's not shown on this machine for clarity, but it is a perforated steel guard which protects the area right at the top of the drum to approximately the pump to prevent operators or uh, people standing near the machine 
from being able to get their hands in between the pinch point uh, as well as being able to directly or accidentally touch the hot surface. Another option is the digital RPM feedback and that is accomplished by a ring kit which is attached between the electric motor and the gear drive and that will give us a feedback display of the actual RPM that the motor is turning. DM55 can also be ordered in a tandem configuration. That configuration can be ordered in a number of ways. The first would be the most simple and that would be simple interposing relays which connect two DM55s together and when one DM55 uh, is signaled as empty the other DM55 comes online. Uh, we can also go as far as integrating PLC control through a second supervisory enclosure and control other heating zones for ball valves um, and other ancillary equipment that may be required. So uh, you'll definitely have to make sure that that is uh, discussed and put on the quote. The DM55 can also have uh, any number of customizations done to it. In the past we have created machines which have pass-through drum capability for conveyors. Drums can be loaded on and off with conveyors. Uh, we build drum and loaders with servo drives or even not only just one motor but also even dual drive systems as well.